That might be the thumbnail right there. So you're looking for a place to take that furry friend on the weekends, or maybe you don't have quite the backyard you were hoping to for that little puppy that needs to go out and run. Today we're gonna cover the top five dog parks in Norfolk for you and your little furry friend. I am Dane Inman, your local realtor and guide, and you're watching the Living in Coastal Virginia channel. Uh, I need to mention here, this is in no particular order. We were just trying to make a driving route very efficient, so we started up north and worked all the way down south at downtown. First up in Norfolk is the dog park over on Maple Avenue in Ocean View. This is a fantastic open dog park. Each one of these actually is going to be gated, so you could go in there, unclip, and let the dog run free. We're right next to a fire department and water tower here, but the real beauty is uh, it is a large open place to run, and there happens to be a little park next door, so if you want to bring the kids along, let them play while the dog plays as well. A good way to socialize both the dog and the kid. A healthy thing, good thing for the both of them. The beauty here is you're over in Ocean View, you are really only a stone skip away from the actual uh, Chesapeake Bay. So if you wanna take the dog out there and go for a walk, or if you live close by, it's really within a close walking distance. I believe there's a CrossFit gym right down the street. So let's roll on to number two here. This is right next to Hampton Boulevard and what's that, Little Creek, Sean? Yep. Little Creek, uh, you are a stone's throw away from uh, Old, Old Dominion and the Naval, Base, Naval Air Station Norfolk, uh, right north of that. Uh, this probably is one of the more beautiful ones in all, out of all of Norfolk. Uh, it is a large open space, ran into a friend over there and uh, we had some kids that were deeply interested into our drone footage, so maybe Sean will throw some of that up there. Uh, big open space, they have a side for big dogs and a side for little dogs, so if you need to make sure that they're playing in the same weight class and that's important to you that is available there also happens to be a kids playground uh, right next to it uh, Razzo's I think is the name of the restaurant that's right across the street high-end uh, Italian restaurant absolutely lovely and delightful to eat at if you haven't if you're looking for a place to uh, to go do some fine dining at um, this is a fantastic open space um, there also is a basketball court right next door Number three on the list is Colonial Greenway Park. This is in Colonial Place. If you're not familiar with that is in Norfolk, it is right there in the center. Um, if you were to just drop a pin, it would probably be right in the dead center of Norfolk. Uh, Colonial Place is a bunch of old homes. The majority of the neighborhoods probably built before 1940s. Uh, the lot lines are a little bit tight. There's some places in there to do some parking. But for the dog park specifically, uh, there is parking along the side. They have, uh, <laughs> when we were there, there was a, uh, a German Shepherd that was playing in the mud, just plopping right down in it. This one also has a playground right next door. So again, if you're looking for a place to both socialize the puppy and the kiddos, this would be a great opportunity to do so. Uh, I believe when we were there, they had a rope tied up in a tree. Uh, you know, if you have a dog, it, uh, sometimes they, and you get exhausted doing the tug of war with them, they can go up there and tug on that, and that's a great way to do it. Um, this one does get kind of muddy when it is uh, rainy outside, so you may want to avoid this if it's rained recently. Every single one of these so far, I don't think I mentioned the previous two, does have a water station, so there's a little pump station where you can go in there and fill up a dog bowl or water bowl uh, if you want to do it separately, and they also have bowls available for all the dogs that are present.
Both Colonial Place and Riverview are fantastic neighborhoods if you're looking for a place to stay long term and need a place. Uh, it's located right next to a dog park so you can walk there all the time. I've had a couple of good friends that lived in the area and they use that dog park on a consistent basis. Speaking of those neighborhoods, if you are looking at making a move into the Norfolk area, I'm your local realtor and diet guide, Dan Inman. If you'd like to jump directly into my calendar down below to do a first time home buyer consultation, or even to talk about what it would look like to sell the current place and move up, either way, uh, the link down in the calendar is down in the description. Talk to you soon. The fourth one on our list is the Stockley Gardens Dog Park. This one is quite beautiful. It's stuck in between, um, what would that call be called? It's like the median area between two different things. So the way that this works is you have like a road that goes down one side, you have the big garden, and then you have the road that comes down the other side, and then you have houses on the outside. So um, one of the beautiful parts about Ghent is there's tons of built in green space, and in this green space, they decided to build a dog park. Um, absolutely lovely, lots of old trees, um, lots of old architecture, uh, and tons of tons of housing units, whether this is attached or detached units that are within walking distance of this dog park. Very, very beautiful, um, nice long strip, so if your dog needs a lot of space to run or needs a long distance, this is quite, quite nice there. Um, and then we think we got this a really cool drone footage where we go down as a sweeping shot. So hopefully we get that shot in there. Uh, last on our list, or number five, is going to be the Granby Dog Walk. Maybe this isn't quite the park, um, but if you live downtown and you need a place to take the dog, this is a great little option. Uh, on this day, there was a just cute little puppy. It might actually be the thumbnail. I'm not sure what Sean's going to put up, um, but it is a spot where you, you can run the dogs up and down, and it's right across the street from plenty of good food and the mall. Yeah, I mean, it, this place, it, it's just a little quick strip, and I don't even think they have real grass there. I'm pretty sure Sean, Sean said that there's AstroTurf, if I remember correctly. Um, so definitely make sure you bring up, bring your, your, your doggy bags. Most of these places do have doggy bags on stock, and some from the city will come through and stock those up on occasion, but you always wanna make sure you have a handful of those. And then obviously, anywhere you go in, in Norfolk or any dog park, just make sure you follow some basic safety rules and um, you know keep your dog on a leash to and from the gate, uh, because uh, you are supposed to keep your pets leashed until you get to the gated area. Just a quick reminder, your dog is supposed to be updated on all their shots and rabies. Uh, they're supposed to have valid license tags and rabies tags on their collar. Um, so I, I don't think I've ever seen somebody come out there and double check them, but it is something that is on norcagovernor backslash 834 backslash dog dash parks. You'll find all the rules there. Next week, we're gonna cover Virginia Beach dog parks. Stop watching, click the next video. Go, go, go away. Don't click subscribe. Don't, don't like. Go away.